Dipanvita Gupta is a communication professional with more than 12 years of experience in content development for online and offline media. She has previously worked with various B2B companies like India Mart Intermesh, AICircle.com and publication houses like ISR Infomedia. She has had several articles published in international business journals and well-acclaimed blogs. She has been instrumental in improving the ranking of the websites she has worked on as a content writer. She has in-depth knowledge of SEO article writing and writing for blogs, newsletters, white paper, e-books, reports, social media and so on. She currently heads the content team of her own communication startup Dimensions in Kolkata and is passionate about mentoring aspiring content writers. Hello everyone. I am Dipanita Gupta, founder and content head of Dimensions, a content writing firm based in Kolkata. We provide content writing services to businesses across industries. By content writing services, I mean content for websites. Like when you open a website, you see the home page about us, services, products. We write content for these landing pages. Apart from these, we write articles for blog, articles for various platforms like Medium, Quora, LinkedIn Pulse, etc. We help companies to manage their posts on various social media platforms. We create newsletters, flyers or emailers, corporate PPTs, reports, white papers, ebooks, brochures, and so on. We also do a bit of copywriting and writing articles for magazines but those are mostly paid articles and advertorials. These are all part of content marketing that is increasingly becoming a key component of integrated marketing communication or IMC. Before I tell you more about this emerging branch of communication and how it is being leveraged upon by every company, big or small, Right from a cloud or an edtech startup to a blast furnace manufacturer, let me tell you about my journey from being a bioscience researcher to a content writer. I did my MSc in Zoology from Presidency College, Kolkata, and then joined a DBT project as a research associate in a cancer research institute. But close to nine months into the project, I realized that I was not meant for lab-based research. I discontinued and landed a job as a sub-editor of an industrial magazine. Since then, it has been a rewarding journey so far. A journey of learning and unlearning the nuances of writing and communication. Yes, there's still a lot to learn, but I must say that today we stand at a place from where we are capable of providing content for some of the most well-known edtech brands travel portals, and healthcare websites. Looking back, it all started in March 2018 when I started Dimensions. Before that, I was working as a content writer for companies like Ematrix Knowledge LLC, India Mart Intermesh Limited, and Alcircle Pity Limited. Ten years of working experience under some amazing communication professionals and an MBA, MBA degree from IIS to Shippur finally gave me the confidence that, yes, I could do it differently. I felt that I have the ability to mix my understanding of marketing, consumer behavior and research with my writing skills to give my clients a voice that is unique yet gets their customers into the purchase funnel. The beginning, of course, was tough. But the future doesn't look any easier either. So what I am banking on? A proven fact that the future belongs to digital content. Take it from me. At least 80% of your batch, if not more, is going to join the bandwagon sooner or later. How can I be so confident? Well, after passing out of college, you will be either joining tech, manufacturing and digital marketing. I see quite a lot of you joining digital marketing eventually. Or you will pursue higher studies and join academics. 
or join your family business. And if I am not wrong, a few of you are already sitting quietly here with a startup plan in your laptop. What job roles are you going to get in the corporate? To begin with, a trainee engineer in production, operations, sales and marketing or business development and then junior engineer and so on. But no matter what job role you are in, you will have to do a few or all of these things. Number one, attend training sessions and make reports. Do lots of number crunching and data analysis and make tons of PPTs. Give presentations to your team and reporting heads. Write emails to your seniors, teammates, HR, vendors and potential customers. Network using platforms like LinkedIn and make your presence felt on those platforms. And I'm not talking about interacting with each of these people verbally on a day-to-day -day basis. Sounds easy? Yes, it's not rocket science, but it isn't a cakewalk either. Just one smartly written email with no bitting around the bush message and zero spelling mistakes to your manager from someone from your level and you're out of the game. The first impression is a crucial thing, I tell you. So be prepared for a steep learning curve ahead. And if you're really lucky, you may even get a call from your company's media head who might ask you to write an article for the company's upcoming annual publication or blog. You never know. Let me tell you an inside story. My clientele right now comprises of a couple of cloud startups and edutech companies and their founders, CEOs and digital marketing heads insist of, upon getting their ebooks, blog and white papers written by real life coders or BTech engineers who also have a flair for writing. And that's quite logical also. An English literature graduate having a nose for research can definitely refer to a few online resources and write a uh, tech article, but it cannot, most of the time, match the flavor of content written by someone who has the knowledge of coding or cloud, Kubernetes, containerization, agile, AWS, and things like that. Likewise, companies like Vedantu, Whitehead Junior, Unacademy look for people who can write knowledge-based content for them, for K-12 audience and those who are preparing for competitive exams like NEET, JE Advanced and so on. Accordingly, content writing agencies like us hire freelancers who are either pursuing engineering or already working in a related field. Like right now, I have three IITNs in my team, all doing their MTech in different branches of technology one doctoral student of chemical engineering, an automobile engineer who is eventually looking after recruitment for a multinational tech firm, and a couple of fresher engineers who are still awaiting a joining letter after clearing their final semester in 2019. No, this was not to make you feel intimidated. Rather, I wanted to show you the silver lining. The job sector right now is becoming cosmopolitan and more exciting than ever. Let me tell you, the demand for fresh engineers with writing and digital marketing skills is huge today. And given the trend of online education, this is only going to rise. Now, you may ask, why are these people writing content after doing a BTEC? To create another income channel, simple. In addition to their fixed salaries or scholarships, I'm talking about the first two categories if you remember, those who are already doing a job, they are earning anything between 5,000 to 30,000 rupees per month by only writing articles on a freelance basis. Not bad, right? Just look up the content writing groups on Facebook or follow the profiles and pages of tech startups on LinkedIn and you will get an idea of the trend. Now, Coming to those who are already dreaming angel investors and seed funding, 
A startup is a different ball game altogether. You are the captain of the ship and you are the crew. From burning night oil for making a pitching PPT to creating your first WordPress website and writing content for it, you will have to do it all. And once the website is live, you will have to promote it. You will have to tell people about your business, your products, services and value proposition. And the best way to do is by writing interesting and informative articles on them, sharing posts on them. Why articles and posts? Because number one, you won't be having enough money to spend on PR and advertisements. Number two, content marketing will not weigh heavy on your wallet and you will be able to grab maximum eyeballs in the fastest possible time too. Besides, you have to write a hundred emails to just get 2% response. If you want to see how startup owners are publishing meaningful content to establish thought leadership and create a brand image of their own, spend time on LinkedIn, Quora and Medium. Follow people like Albert Anthony of Love's Cloud, a tech startup, Nitin Agarwal of Drone Study, Abhijit Bhaduri, Digital Transformation Coach, to name a few. None of them is an author by profession, but all of them enjoy huge fan followings on their pages because of the articles they publish and the knowledge they share on a regular basis. Do you see yourself donning multiple roles once you step out of the campus? Then start sharpening your communication skills from now. Because it is the ultimate thing in creating your personal brand. Finally, let me tell you why communication skills should never be taken lightly. It is something you will always have to fall back on, even when you have climbed reasonably up the corporate ladder. Take the example of this lady who I know, who is a senior manager, finance and taxation of one of India's premier logistics companies. Let's say her name is Sonali. After having charted an impressive career graph spanning more than 20 years, she is now heading the finance team in HO Hyderabad. Sonali still thinks her English spoken and writing skills are not up to the mark. She has to interact with many C-suite executives as well as people from the central excise and IT departments and conduct regular knowledge transfer sessions with her juniors. She mostly runs the show by banking heavily on her knowledge in the subject and a great body language, which of course is an important part of effective communication, but somewhere she her lack in fluency and writing inability, she feels, is coming in the way of her day-to-day -day progress. At least that's what she was feeling. So in her fabulous 40s, she decided to upskill herself. So Nali started a telephonic come online training session with me, where I help her gain confidence by speaking with her in English for 30 minutes, minutes daily. I make her write business letters and articles and she diligently reads articles from various online and offline resources and delivers a speech on that topic. You need to have this level of sincerity and dedication to hone your communication skills. Trust me, there's no substitute for practice. And once you start practicing, interview panels will no longer feel like a nightmare. Best of luck.